Hey guys, W1MSG here. Uh, today I want to talk about my obsession with uh, SDR radios. I've had flex radios for, I don't know, 10, 12 years, maybe a little bit longer. <clears throat> I started out with the SDR 1000 flex. Um, pretty steep learning curve with that one. You had to have a firewire card and a bunch of other stuff, certain drivers. Uh, but it was a great radio, and I was hooked. And after that, I picked up a Flex 5000, which was a step above the 1000. It worked really well. I had two receivers in it, uh, automatic antenna tuner. It was just a great radio. And as a companion to that, I, I picked up a used... Flex 1500. Now, all of that was using power SDR. Um, in steps the 6000 series flex. I had a flex 6400. Uh, I love that radio. I had the latest uh, SDR software from flex on that. And uh, you could do remote from my phone. It was, it was just fantastic. However, I did have a problem. I don't know if I got... Uh, a power surge or something. Uh, antenna port one was acting up. The relays weren't working. Shipped it off the flex. They said they wouldn't fix it. So uh, basically, you know, it worked on antenna two and antenna three. Uh, then antenna two was going a little wonky. So uh, I sent that down the road, sold it as is, and bought a Yesu FT DX10. Great radio. I've been using that for quite a while. I just, I could not justify the cost of a flex radio for what it is. Um, not any longer. That same with the uh, Anon radios. I looked at those as well. And uh, they're all way high priced. So in steps, this, this little dude here. The Hermes Light 2. This thing is pretty impressive. Uh, there's the board. There's the main board. $269 for the main board. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a minimum of two other items I suggest you get. Uh, this right here, the N2 ADR. This is the filter board, and it comes with the header to connect the two boards together. Super simple build. And the other item is the enclosure. It's a really nice enclosure. Uh, the end caps are made out of PCB uh, boards, and uh, really nice enclosure. Uh, Buy yourself some stick-on rubber feet and call it a day. The, uh, the This is fantastic. That's all you need to get top quality SDR radio. Um, there's a specific version of the Thetis, T-H-E-T-I-S software. Uh, it's the version that is made by M. I zero B O T Mike India zero Bravo Oscar Tango. Uh, if you do a search for that, you will find the GitHub where you can download that software. It didn't take me a lot of time to get everything up and running. Um, I did not order the filter board when I ordered the Hermes radio and I had to wait for that to come. So uh, it sat here. I also purchased the uh, the plus board which you get from the uh, Hermes light 2 plus.com which adds the phones and mic, it also adds a 9-pin port to the back. 
you can put a power switch in it if you want. It comes with that. And uh, it's also got a, an internal speaker connector if you wanted to use a uh, internal speaker. But uh, I went ahead and got this. It was definitely worth it. He's got a ton of information here. Uh, Bob's really quick at getting back to you. And you can also, like I said, you can hook a mic up to the front uh, speakers. I've got actually a set of Bose speakers hooked up to the front of mine. Um, so I can either use those or I can use the VAC on the radio itself. So here's a uh, picture of the plus board. These two little pins right here are for an internal speaker. A little L bracket mounts here where the hole is. And it just pushes down on the pins on the main board. Uh, works really good. You do have to remove a chip from the back side of the board. Uh, it's not difficult at all. Let's see. But enough about that. The, the plus board is only if you really want it. You don't need it. Uh, so from here, I'm going to cut and show you my Hermes Light 2 uh, with the cover off so you can see what the inside looks like. And I also decided that 5 watts wasn't enough. Um, I can do 5 watts into my Palstar LA1K and get about 160, 170 out. Um, so I picked up a, it's called a micro PA50 plus. You want to get the one with the little plus sign on it. Uh, and I'm using that as a piggyback to my big amp. Um, that also, you know, created another little issue of how to key up the two amps. But I'll explain that as, uh, as I go over my setup. But uh, we'll cut from here and we will go to taking a look at the inside of mine and uh, how I got it set up. Okay, well, hopefully I'm steady enough doing this video. Uh, just holding my Canon M50 here to do the video. This is uh, just with the cover off on my Hermes light. Uh, this section right here is the main board, and this section back here is the filter board. Here's the header piece that I talked about, and it was very simple. Uh, this latest version comes pre-drilled. You can see the screw right there in the bottom, and that screws down the main board. Let's see if we get this to focus again. All right, that uh, screws down the main board inside the case. Uh, there's a little heat sink under there with some thermal paste. And that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, this right here, this board right here, that is the plus board. And that allows you to have the uh, two inputs in the front. Also, you've got a DB9 if you want to control a, an amplifier. Uh, also has a keying circuit to it. I'm just going to go ahead and plug that back in. Um, I'm also going to be doing pure signal. And I'm going to try and look here. The way this one is set up, the way uh, the pins that are used on this one are only if you're using the plus board. So, you know, don't get a close-up on that. Here is the uh, front of it with the front panel that came with the plus board looks very nice and here's the rear panel that came with the plus board i've just got the uh, power switch in there to fill the hole and that's it but uh that's pretty much the inside of it it uh, would take you all of about five or ten minutes to put it together uh, so long as you've got some thermal paste a piece of sandpaper uh, you just sand off the anodizing put a little bit of thermal paste there and on the board and Slide it all in there. Very simple to uh, put together. Okay, before we fire things up, this is the uh, amplifier relay control I'm using. It's got one end, which comes uh, from the Hermes light, and then it's got 
1 and 2, 1 amp 1 and amp 2. So what I do is amp 1 goes to my micro PA50, which is right there, and amp 2 goes to my Palstar LA1K. So at about 25 or 30 watts out on the uh, the micro PA50 plus, I get roughly between eight and nine hundred uh, watts out, which is really good. Um, this this little amp relay box does a great job. Stick that right back there, or it's out of the way. So even with this little amp, it's it's a very tidy. Uh, desk setup as you can see it's not very big and I've got some Bose speakers here that I can I can plug right into the phone jack and we can fire up the software here now the uh, the network cable is actually going to my router and my computer actually picks it up so alright let's see if I can find a signal here well there's always something going on on 7200 I'm on 40 meters right now but uh, yeah <laughs> so that's on the speakers and what I use when I'm actually talking on the radio is I've got a wireless gaming headset uh, made by SteelSeries, which is a great headset, and I use it for gaming, but it also wirelessly works uh, through the VAC on the Hermes Light. All right, let's, uh, let's put this thing in operation a little bit, and uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to record the, uh, well, I'm going to show you the Hermes Light with the PA, and then I'm going to show you the software as well. Okay, so I'm not going to, uh, let me turn this down a little bit. I am not going to go over the entire software setup, but it does take a little bit of time to uh, figure it all out. Uh, once you get it all figured out, it uh, it just works it just works as you can see we've got uh, a good signal going here and uh, it's got great receivers on it is that is that towards the Bostonian over I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> we've also I'm not got, sure uh, you can copy me this time um, and we're gonna make a correction uh, the call sign is incorrect so that's the e cars net right there uh, we're listening at 2.9. That gentleman was pretty wide, probably 3.8 uh, or 4.0, as you can see from the pan and uh, the scope. But it, it works fantastic. I've been uh, I've only had it up running a day, but uh, this is just amazing. Um, the software is very familiar to me because I used to use Power SDR. This is very similar to Power SDR with how you set it all up um, in your setup. The big thing is to choose the right radio model, the Hermes Light. Uh, this is spe a specific version just for the Hermes Light. So that's what you want to use. Uh, audio, again, I'm using my Steel Series headphones and microphone. And you have to make sure that you turn the uh, VAC on. Because if you don't have the, the VAC on with those audio settings, you won't hear anything and you'll think it's broke. Uh, I scratched my head for a couple minutes until I remembered that. You can make all these little custom uh, things with uh, whatever you pretty much want on them. But uh, there's just so much to do with the software. The receiver is great. Uh, let me move over here just to do a... Just so you can see my transmit signal. Let me turn this up and make sure there's nobody there. Uh, 
This is W1MSG testing. One, two, three, W1MSG. So you could see, you could see my audio going out. Uh, that was about 900, uh, right at 900 uh, watts going out. Now these micro PA50 plus, um, there's been some issues with SWR problems. I have not had that problem. Um, the only time it gives me the, the alarm is when I'm tuning up. I've got a uh, Palstar Auto HF tuner, and uh, I just put it at the lowest setting and put a tune into it. So the alarm will go off, and then you know one button press it shuts off. And I, I haven't had it trip into a high SWR while I've been using it. Uh, it's been working really well, and you can see that when I key up. Oh, I take that back. That's the first time that's happened. Um, now let's see if it does it again. This is W1MSG testing on 7.260. W1MSG testing 12345-54321 on the Hermes radio. And somebody jumped in a little bit down the band from us. I see somebody tuning up now. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for the software and the operation of the Hermes 2. Alrighty, so there it is. Uh, we went over the whole setup. I'm still waiting on one part to come from DX Engineering. It allows you to put. Uh, three input key uh, cables for keying up an amp. Put three of those in there and it will automatically uh, change and it doesn't back feed the other one. Uh, so I'll be able to have both my, my FTDX10 and my Hermes light all hooked up and able to key up the amplifier without having to you know, juggle wires around, uh, which makes it nice. But hey, if you're interested, uh, W1MSG radio at gmail.com. If you run into any issues, I am by no means an expert. I'm going to try and do another video on the software setup, which will be easy because I can use OBS to uh, actually live stream my uh, Hermes light. And I'll be doing that quite a bit. So. With that, I'm just going to say 7-3. This is W1MSG. Have yourself a great day.